Welcome back Mortar Archery, welcome back Patrons. Today is the day the parcel from Imre Nagy arrived and in the morning it didn't look like but now we have uh, a bit sunshine so we do the review directly today of the Persian bow from Imre Nagy. What he does now look at this open cut it here so we will do that. Of course, I need to cut it gently because I need to repack it then again. So, so kind, kind of, kind of. Okay, so I may be excused. I had better times unboxing. So, what do we get? A bow. And Imre, when I wrote him that you guys choose his bow, he was directly, oh, he feels so honored. He's such a humble guy. I like that. Look at this. So this is the box in which one of you guys will get this bow later. So then we have it strapped salami technique. Uh, so let's see. I'm not sure if I will pack it like this again, but as you see, he really does a nice job packing up his bow because he's proud of what he's doing. I like that. So, put this one away. Zip! <coughs> so, then we have nice tape around. I try to cut it as, as good as possible. So, cut it here. We have some surgery going on here. Yep. And we have some here. So, let's see what we got here. This one. And this one. And this one. Huh? No, this one goes off like this. So. Of course, if you don't like unboxings, skip forward or something. Ooh, look at this. Massive seal. So, I will tell you in a second what he is thinking or what the interpretation of this Persian bow is. So, here we have first his business card with a description. It's a Persian bow. We have a bow length of 100. 48 centimeters length when strung 141 max draw length is 31 inches string force is 47 pounds string length is 132 centimeters calibration draw length 28 inches this is what you get so now let's see open up come on so i keep this all for you guys so you get it then as originally packed as possible but of course, there will be some. Yeah, let's move. So, whoa. So, the la. There was a German expression, so the la. So, what do we get here now? Paperwork, more paperwork. Proper brace of laminated bows cardinal aspect so that you string your bow properly description and you get your warranty card so this one will go then with the package of course <clears throat> so now we come to the Persian bow by Imre Nagy so what did he write to me the recurve of the bow has a special shaping that leads the bow string. It makes the bow dynamic. Of course, this is this extreme over there with a string bridge, so to say. Very interesting. A smooth draw in the beginning a bit hard, later it gets a little more smooth. Uh, the grip is normally expanded, making the hand position more comfortable. Uh -huh, I see, quite a big grip. But of course you can have 
with a normal grip size as well. The grip is leather, the center serving is skipped, the bow has one size. Available from 25 to 55 pounds. And the price? I paid 117 euros plus 31 euro shipping, so it's 148 euros for a bow like this. Not bad. And 31 inch draw. Of course, we need to do it our way quickly. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. There we go, there we go, there we go. 47 pounds, and that's me. So it's 57 and a half inches and that's 31 inches. So then I will do the math and tell you the F value later. So now the string is secured with some rubber bands. So we have quite a flex in the handle already. And then this massive sears. I hope that they don't make too much hand shock. <clears throat> Let's string the bow. It's really nice, mate. Oh, easy to string. Didn't it go? <laughs> so that's interesting. So we have here massive sears with a string bridge. Quite forward angle, as you can see. Brace height. Interesting. Handle is quite big, but he mentioned that, that he wants to do it like this. Persian bow, there's the same written again. String force 47 and his signature, very nice. So handle is quite bulky, but you have a good control. Now let's see what this bow will do when we draw it. Whoa. Mm. Feels good. Good. So from here, of course, it's a little hard, and then you then you feel the sear slightly kicking it. Not too much, not like with a manju bow or something, but you feel it. So you have 28 is okay, 29, 30, 31, and then you reach the limit. But 31 inches, well, could you shoot Mediterranean? Whoa! Mm -hmm. Wow! Could you shoot some release? Yeah, oh, there's a little vibration going on, at least with these lightweight arrows here. I mean, they're only 300, 320 grains, so they are maybe a little light. So you feel then, yeah, you feel it a few seconds until now, it's still going on. So you have a little vibration when you shoot two lightweight arrows. But other than that, a pretty bow, huh? Look at this. Nice. Especially considering the price. I don't know now which wood he is using here, but you know, there he has so many different kinds of wood. You simply go on his website and check. He is doing his best to get it in English so that you all can read it. Let's shoot this freaky one. So what you want, you want to use a little heavier arrows for that one. So let's see what we have. I have here wood arrows 32 inches long the spine is a little off for the 47 pounds so you should go with 10 grain feels good then you don't have that much vibration so this is another wood arrow feels better these are 440 grains, so they are still a little too lightweight. Carbon. But it's accurate with this handle. Feels really good. You feel it a little afterwards, a little slightly humming. But you need to consider the price. And heavier bamboo arrows. <clears throat> yeah, a little, a little hand shock. But directly, don't know if you can see it there. Nice group. 
not too bad, not too bad. So you have, you have a little vibration and you have a little hand choke. So go at least with 10 grain. Doesn't matter which arrows you shoot, they all feel good. They are a little, the spine of these ones is a little too weak. You can see then when they fly, they bend a little too much. But they're still working. So you could shoot, of course, Mediterranean if you want to. Could you? Yes. The handle is quite big, so if you consider doing this, maybe order it with a smaller handle, then it's a bit easier for you to shoot this way. Okay. And the other way around, obviously, it's working too. Yeah. Works great, so Persian style. Works nice. You can you can do that. So I said every arrow will work. A wood arrow works just fine. Wood Slavic release work. Persian draw for a Persian bow works perfecto. Bamboo arrows. Oh yeah. Maybe not the fastest, but it feels very nice. Mm. So these arrows are 32 inches, I think, so... Yeah, 31. Uh, 440 grain is almost a little too lightweight. And you feel um, a bit vibration afterwards. But... Draws nice, draw experience is really nice. So you have here 28, 29, 30 and then you feel it so after it goes continuously nice up so it's very interesting the bamboo arrows at 30 meters oh they're heavy okay a bit higher then mm -hmm. the wood arrows a bit more lightweight Oh, heavy. The light carbon ones, but you should really go with 10 grain. They are too lightweight here. Oh. But you get used to it. Oops, that was good. These are a little too weak spined. So, you see. They don't fly, so we don't use these ones. Now you saw 30 meters completely, totally no problem. Of course, why should it? At 31, the bow has roughly 55 pounds. So with 420 grain, 55 pounds, way too lightweight. But only so we see 164. 163 161 uh, 470 grains are a little heavier than the carbon 157 and they are then roughly 10 grain the bamboo ones 159 and this one is way too long 153 we do this one more time it's not the speed monster and you need a little heavier arrow so with these ones 440 grain oops 164 165 so this is what you get with the uh, lightweight arrows a little heavier wood arrow 158 and uh, 650 grain this is way too heavy 151 and this one is 550 grain, so that should be roughly 10 grain. 
156. So this is what you get. Not too bad, not a speed monster, but it shoots nice. It's good and accurate. So you have a little kick, of course, when the string uh, touches the string bridges. So you feel this slightly vibration, a slightly hand shock. But overall, nice mate. Here you see the handle is really deep, but still narrow. So you have a narrow arrow pass here. And you have, reminds me a little of the, the new one from Sarmat Arche Seemurg. Has the same, a very flat handle, but a very deep. Shh, kiddies. Gives you a nice control of the bow. So it's nice, deep in here. You can hold it nice. Of course, it's getting a little tough to hold arrows then on your bow hand. Maybe the bow is not made for that. But for the rest, it feels very balanced. It's sturdy. It's medium good sturdy, so it's easy to string and unstring. Even if you have to overcome the reflex and everything, you do it a few times, only make sure that the string is in these string bridges, in these grooves. No problem. Imre, thank you very much for building this bow. It's a really pretty, beautiful looking bow. His interpretation of a Persian bow, as said, with a very deep handle, but very narrow. So interesting to hold. Of course, you can order in a standard arrow. Uh, did I say arrow? Handle. In the standard handle size too. The handle is nice leather wrapped. You always have this slightly bulge here that you have kind of, you know where you have to put your arrow. That's good. Craftsmanship is, as we had with all of his bows, flawless. There is nothing that's nice, nice details here in the sears. Looks really good. You don't get a sleeve with it, so always make sure that you order at least a sleeve or something with it. 148 euros, so under 150 euros, including shipping, you get a really pretty well performing bow. This one is 47 pounds at 28 inches. It feels good. Draw experience, see up there to 31. It goes continuously. From there you feel it. 28, nice, 9, 30, 31. Would maybe even do a little more, so there's no stacking, but 31 inch max draw. I can live with that with this bow. Nice. First I was a little shocked about this massive thing here. Maybe this is causing a little the vibration because this is a lot of mess here and when this comes back of course you feel it and you have a little guitar built in so it will vibrate for a few seconds but it's not annoying it's a nice shooting experience for a beginner yes from 25 pounds onwards up to 55 nice does 31 inches which is just fine Arrows, I would go with 10 grain. So this one is 55 pounds at 31, then go with 550 grain arrows because otherwise with these arrows they're a little lightweight. And then you, you feel it a little. So you feel a slight hand shock. But for the rest, cutter. Did I test cutter? <coughs> Let's see. Yeah, the bow is a little doesn't want to move that much, but Katra is possible. The handle is, is okay for it. Works. So you can do that. So you can do everything with this bow you want to do. Price-wise, very interesting. Build quality, very good. Imre Nagi. I hope I pronounce it right. Nagi, Nagi, I don't know. Really pretty bow. Thank you very much for shipping it so quickly that our patrons have something to look at that's done now next i will ask a question of course later and then you can participate in the giveaway of this bow really pretty bow you have here all the descriptions of course and everything so very nice very well made keep on shooting 
thank you very much thank you very much for watching i catch you in the next one